Hello, welcome to the AWC Automation channel. My name is Alan Sapien, and in today's video, we'll be talking about user data types and their applications. Often when programming, there will be multiple objects that have the same data points. Rather than creating the same data structure or having loose data points in the program, the data can be created in a reproducible data type that can be used multiple times. For this video, I've pre-created the project to manage the video time. Feel free to pause the video as needed to complete the steps discussed. In this example, we have 10 tanks of varying heights. All the tanks need to be monitored and controlled to make sure they don't fall below or exceed the level set points. The outlet of each tank is controlled by the process it feeds, so it won't be in the scope of this example. The tank monitor function must let the process function know that the required materials are available to begin. First, I'll open the project I've already started. As you can see, I've already added an S7-1200 PLC. The next step would be coming in to add your PLC data type, double-click Add New Data Type, and rename your data type to what you would like it to be. As you can see, in my data type, I have already added the variables mentioned. We have tank height, min level, required to start level, max level, current level, fill, alarm, and enable process. Now that I've created the data structure I want, what I'm gonna do is add a data block and create an array of that data structure. Because we have 10 tanks, I'm going to create an array from zero to nine of tanks. Every tank will have that data structure because I've defined it here in the data type as an array of zero to nine of tank monitoring, the name of my data structure. Once I created the data block for our UDT, I created the logic. Now I won't show you the logic itself, but I will show you the interface because that's how we pass through parameters to our function. Here at the top, you have the analog inputs for your 10 tanks. And then down under in out, we have the data block array for tank control. This is the UDT we created earlier in the data block. Now that our interface has been created, the only thing left to do is drag the function into our logic in the main OB. Once you do that, you'll see that all of your interface is here on the outside of the block. This will allow you to attach the parameters necessary. At the bottom of ours, you'll see tank, which is our UDT. All I did to get that was highlight your data block with the UDT in it and drag your tag over. That UDT we created earlier had eight tags in it, but there are 10 tanks. So we could either have 80 tags on the outside of this block or one data block, one tag to handle all 80. This becomes especially convenient when it becomes time to commission your project. If you have 10 tanks with varying sizes, you can come into this single data block change the tank height, change the min level for each tank in one place. This is also helpful when it comes to face plates for the HMIs, but I'll cover that in a different video. For further assistance, products, or training, please contact us at 1-800-AWC-INFO or www.awc-inc.com. We're here to help. 